All right, buddy, you ready? You ready? Let's get it. Oh man, you're gonna miss it. There it is, there it is. Oh, you're gonna miss it. He didn't see, oh, there it is. Okay, he, he sees it, there it is. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Stick these earbuds in my ear holes and go do some stuff, Richardson, because today we're out here playing with my dog, man. He's out here. Oh, he's tired, man, it's hot. So he's just gonna be chilling in the shade right there with that ball. I'm not gonna mess with him no more. But uh, I wanted to tell you guys about these brand new Sony WH, or I'm sorry, WF. That means Wireless Freedom 1000 XM5. Truly wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation. Good grief, that is a lot of information to just spew out of my mouth at one time. But I'm getting it. Hey, let's talk about my favorite features first. As you can see, I'm out here doing stuff in the wild, playing with my dog, just being active. I got sweat dripping in my ears and stuff like that. So the first thing I wanna talk about as far as my favorite features go is durability. Just two days ago, me and Raylan out doing some stuff, right? I'm on my scooter. I'm racing him. We're going about 25 miles an hour. <laughs> and I, I, I reach up to my head and I do something and then the earbud, the left earbud fell out of my ear. And I, I just died a little bit inside and I stopped the scooter. I went looking for the earbud. Thank goodness it only had maybe two little small scratches on the left earbud. That's not what I was worried about. What I was worried about is function because I've dropped earbuds before in my kitchen from about waist high or maybe head high and they just stopped working before. So I was really worried about this as far as like the shock proofness. I picked it up, put it in my ear, it started working flawlessly like nothing ever happened. So I was like, all right, the earbud gods are shining down upon me. So as far as durability goes, we're there. But most of you are probably thinking about this IPX4 rating or is, yeah, IPX4, yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, you cannot swim in these. You cannot submerse them or anything like that. But if you are sweating, working out, hanging out with your dog in the middle of nowhere um, and you get sweat on them or you, know, you just happen to get splashed, you know, you're just walking on the street, somebody splash up a big puddle or something like that, you're gonna be okay because they are splash proof. But that's how durability goes. And I'm, all, I'm here for it because I mean, they're earbuds, right? And they have a lot of technology built in. So you can only get so much durability when you're, pump, uh, when you're putting in that much technology. But what I want to talk about as far as my, feature, my favorite features go next is something I want, I'm going to have to share my screen with you for. And that is adaptive sound. I first experienced the beauty, like the true beauty of this uh, a few months ago when I was in New York with the Sony WF-1000XM4s. This is where the headphones kind of just take over and do life with you as you go along. And they turn on the, uh, the ambient sound and, as well as the active noise cancellation as needed. Let's say for instance, right now I'm not moving anywhere, right? I'm just standing here talking to you. So you see where it says adaptive sound control and it says staying. Let's just walk around a little bit and see what happens as I walk. And then you'll see it'll turn into, um, it should turn into walking or moving or something like that. So as we go, the headphones are just kind of figuring out, all right, what's going on? Okay, there it is. You see where it says walking? Sorry guys, I had to cut out for a second. Uh, Raylan had to take a potty break. But it says walking right now because that's what I'm doing. And that's what these do. They kind of follow you through life and when you stop, they turn on the A and C. That way you can actually have your peace and quiet. If you're sitting there at a coffee shop or at a table trying to work or something like that. And then when you take off walking, they kind of just turn on or pump in a little bit of ambient sound and it is adjustable and they do actually adjust on the fly as needed. So that's one of the favorite features about these is just that I don't really have to mess with them much. I just put them in my ears, play some music and they just kind of do everything I need them to do for me. So uh, at this point, me and Raylan are done, man. It's hot, he's tired, I'm gonna give him some water and I gotta get my morning workout in. So let's go to the gym. Oh guys, I forgot to mention something, man. Speak to chat. A lot of people like to use this and then uh, there's even more people that don't like to use it. It's a feature to where these bone conductors in the earbuds, they actually kind of, you know, feel the vibrations from your mouth moving and stuff like that. And it'll cut out the music and kind of pump in some ambient sound so you can have a conversation without having to pause your earbuds. And I like using it because, you know, if I'm in my neighborhood walking or something like that and I'm jamming my tunes, I'll see a neighbor and I'll be like, hey, how you doing? And, you know they're going to talk back so i need to talk to them and that's when the headphones just do their job and cut out that way i can have my conversation and i don't have to do anything to my earbuds so speak to chat is actually another one of my favorite features but if you're the type of person who likes to sing along with your music you might want to toggle this off because it will get annoying because as you sing the music will stop and it'll mess up your rhythm you probably shouldn't be singing anyway you know you can't sing let's go uh, next topic, I wanted to talk to you about the head gestures. This is something that kind of gets me in trouble sometimes because 
you know, sometimes my wife, you know, she calls for absolutely no reason at all. And I'm like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> it's my wife. And then it blocks the call. Like it'll reject the call if you do this. So if you're one of those guys like me, you might want to turn this feature off. Let me, let me show you on my phone what this looks like. It's kind of hilarious that I'm talking about my wife this way, but I mean, if you're married, you know what's up, man. Even if you got a girlfriend or something, man, you know what happens. Like, you know, they just be calling for no reason. So I want to show you how this works and you might want to turn it off if this is, if this is going to be you. So we go into what, there it is right there, head gestures. This is in the systems menu. And then you go down a little bit to head gestures and it'll tell you what to do. So if you want to take the call, you just nod your head. Yes. Like, yeah, I want to talk to this person. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll actually answer the call for you hands free. But if you want to reject the call, you got to do as a slight, you know, no, and it'll reject the call. And it's not that I don't want to talk to my wife. It's just that it was a reaction. It was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Cause she's always catching me at a bad time. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm working out, she'll call me or something like that. But in the event I do actually take the call, it's good that when I'm listening to music and I have the noise cancellation on, uh, the ambient sound, you can toggle this on or off if you want to, but the ambient sound pumps in while you're on the phone call. Not a lot of earbuds do this, man. It should be a standard feature, but the XM5s have it as a standard feature uh, where the ambient sound comes in. And this way you don't feel like you're underwater talking on the phone to people. And it's just more of a natural sounding phone call to where like you would be on a handset versus sounding like your, your ears are plugged up and you're trying to talk to someone. And that, it's, that sometimes makes you talk even louder and that kind of gets annoying to me. So ambient sound on calls is definitely one of my favorite features. Another one of my favorite features, let me show you this. Oh, this is a good one, man. This is actually new to Sony, I believe. I don't think I've ever seen this on any of their headphones or earbuds. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when we go to sound, check this out. I got my speak to chat off because I'm doing this video. But if you go down here to find your equalizer, this is a beta feature. Hopefully they finalize it and everything. But you go through here, you hit next, right? Got to play some music first. But if you play some music, right, it'll give you like three different sounds. You pick the one you like, and then it'll give you like three or four more. You pick the one you like, then three or four more, pick the one you like, and then it'll do it again. You pick the one you like. And then it takes all the ones that you select it, uh, that you select it, and it kind of aggregates them into one special sound tailored to what you actually picked. So it just kind of combines all of that. This way, you don't have to go through here and pick one of these, one of these presets right here, like treble boost or vocal or relaxed or anything like that. Uh, so those are presets for people who don't like to really go in and like deep dive into their EQ. But if you're that guy or girl who likes to do that, just hit this little gear button right there. Then you got your EQ that you can just toggle. And this is the five band. And then once you get that set, if you want some extra bass on the fly, you just kind of turn that clear bass up just like that. And then you got your bass. But I'm gonna finish up my workout. So y'all gotta leave because it might be embarrassing, man. I might squeal a little bit and I don't want y'all to see that. I'll see y'all in a moment. All right, guys, well, Wilson is chopping at the bit here. It's time for me to take him to get some lunch because I don't want him to turn into like Joe Pesci on one of those Snickers commercials. But before we get out of here, I do want to talk to you about Multipoint. I was just on a video call with my guy here and uh, set up a meeting and everything, but we're actually still connected to my phone. I was doing the video call on my Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I could have been on my laptop, doesn't matter, but I'm also connected to my phone. So what I want to show you is what a cool feature multipoint is. Now, Sony is kind of new to multipoint when it comes to earbuds and headphones. It's not something they've always offered, but I am super glad it's here now. They've updated the XM4 earbuds and it just came standard as a feature in the XM5 earbuds. And uh, I'm gonna show you where it's at, where you can find it in the menu. So you go to system and then it doesn't say multipoint. It says connect to two devices simultaneously. So I'll just click on this little thing right here so you can see that but that's how you toggle that on and off. And what it's gonna do is it'll allow you to take calls and stuff like voice calls on your phone while listening to music. But if you're using your tablet or your PC, it'll kick over to that when that is in function as well. So you just kind of go back and forth really seamlessly between two devices. And that's a clutch feature to have. Should be a standard on every earbud, but it's not. A lot of them don't have it. So now we're getting it in the Sony XM5s and I'm here for it all day. Oh man, this is stupid hot. This is ridiculous, man. <sighs> Either way, I gotta get Wilson something to eat. Hey Google, what's a good place to eat around here? All right, well, Google's telling me that. Let me tell you about Google Assistant. 
This is something a lot of people don't actually like to talk about. I don't understand why, because it's such, oh, let me, let me silence this. Okay, so it's a feature that a lot of people don't talk about. I don't understand why, because it's so useful. You gotta use your Google Assistant or your Amazon Alexa. This one's connected to Google, and I absolutely love it because it's, once again, hands off, hands free. All I have to do is say, hey G, and it kicks in, and I get to tell it what I want to tell it or ask it what I want to ask it. And I don't have to pull out my phone or anything like that. I can even check my notifications if I want to without pulling out my phone. And it's totally capable of doing all the Google Assistant stuff. But it goes a little bit deeper than that because you can actually use Google Assistant to do headphone features such as turning on or off your ambient sound or ANC. That's one of the huge things that I love about the integration with Google in the XM5 earbuds. Now, another thing I love, of course, is the sound quality. It's their, their headphones, their earbuds. You gotta, you know, sound quality is gonna be one of the big features, right? So the sound quality is definitely improved over the, uh, the Sony WF-1000 XM4s. Uh, in my opinion, they're more bass capable. They have a bigger dynamic driver. Wilson, don't die, man. Look around, man. Look, look around what you're doing. <laughs> Wilson, go mess around and get ran over out here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the driver is a little bit bigger. I forget the actual size, but it is a little bit bigger. And um, that is going to make them more dynamic and you get more bass capability. I'm using the term bass capable because that's what I'm actually hearing when I listen to my music. I'm actually getting a lot more bass, which is, in my opinion, more competitive with something along the lines of like the Sennheiser uh, Momentum 4s or something like that, which is something I love. So I like having the extra bass, but because there's extra bass, that doesn't mean you're getting muddy music. It's Sony, man. Sony does excellent quality when it comes to balanced, really good musical sound. And that's what I love with these because I'm getting details too. And I don't have to turn them up super loud um, to get all the details that I want. I like having the low volumes, like even right now, if I wasn't talking to you, I'd have these on and I'd probably have the volume up to about 20, 30%. And the ANC would be on and that ANC is so good that I don't have to turn them up loud, but also I can still hear the, the details in the music. And to be honest with you, this morning, I was listening to a song, I forget what it was, but it was a song from like the late 90s, like probably 98 or something like that. I forgot what it was. But I heard some lyrics that I didn't know that they were, I didn't know they were saying that. You ever listening to a song and you're thinking they're saying something and then years later you're reading it on YouTube or something and then you find out they were saying that? That's what happened to me. I was listening and I was like, I never heard them say this before. And that's because I could actually hear the details in these earbuds, even at the low volumes. So when it comes to uh, music quality, we're talking Sony level music quality. Sony really does not disappoint when it comes to that because we're getting high res and we're getting LDAC, man. Let me, let me go in here. You know I like sharing my screen with you in real time. That way you can see everything I'm experiencing. So let's go in here and look at some stuff, man. I want you to see how I'm getting my, uh, how I got my sound set up. So in one way I have, well, you saw me earlier. I kind of messed up my, my EQ so I could show you that find your equalizer, but I usually have it on custom one, right? And then custom two is my, um, that's gonna be my find your equalizer setting. But when I go in here all the way down, you can see I have prioritized the, um, I've prioritized the sound quality versus a stable connection. I don't have a problem with the stable connection. These things reach pretty far. I've actually left this on my kitchen table then went outside, watered some plants and no cutouts at all. So the, the connection was never a problem for me. That's why I can prioritize the sound quality. So that's gonna give me a better quality of sound. Of course, I got my DSEE Extreme on auto so Sony can take over and upscale the things that they think they need to upscale so I'll get the best quality. But if you go in here, man, you got to go in here and you can see this, this right here. See that right there? LDAC. That means I'm getting the absolute best quality of sound capable from these headphones and my uh, and my phone and the actual music player, the streaming service that I'm using, absolute best quality I can pull out of that with the new Sony XM5s. Now I gotta go find Wilson something to eat because man, I can see his skin, it's turning green, man. He's about to start like growing little warts and stuff on him. He's turning into an ogre. So let's go get that man something to eat. So I decided to show you guys these earbuds this way because I'm reminded of a story of my brother-in-law. Back in the day, about two years ago, he got the Sony XM4 earbuds and he told me that they absolutely sucked. He said that noise cancellation just didn't work pretty much at all. It sometimes worked, it sometimes didn't work. 
And I was like, how could this be? These earbuds are so great. I've ranted and raved about them for almost two years now. And uh, turns out he was, well, he wasn't using them wrong. This, the earbuds were working exactly as advertised. It's just that he never bothered to download the app or dig into the features such as adaptive sound control. Remember in the beginning of the video how I said, you know, it was supposed to move with you and when you started moving, it turned the ambient sound on and stuff like that. Well, he's a UPS driver and he's always moving. <laughs> so that means if he has the adaptive sound on or he has it programmed that way, it's not gonna work like he needs it to as far as ambient sound versus uh, active noise cancellation. So I wanted to show you, you know, how the app works and stuff like that and how the earbuds actually function and move with you through life so you don't have to mess with them too much. All you have to do is download the app and dig into these awesome features that they've added. Speaking of adding extra features and how awesome these earbuds are, I did a video a few months back, about five months back. It was pretty much my wish list because I've been using the XM4s and there are some things I just didn't care for, didn't like about them. And apparently Sony was listening to me. Appreciate it, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know if Sony actually listens to me or not, but they answered a lot of my wishes when it came to the upcoming XM5. And let's talk about a couple of those things. Now, the first thing I'll mention is the actual size of the earbud. This thing is so much smaller and way more comfortable than the Sony XM4s. They're still bigger than the Link Buds S, but they are definitely a lot smaller and way more comfortable than the XM4s, which I told you I initially experienced quite a bit of pain, but then after, you know, some usage and then changing changing out the ear tips, which I'll get to in a moment, uh, I was able to use them long term and they actually became my favorite earbuds. Now we will get into that ear tip, which has been vastly improved. In fact, I don't even feel the need to actually change it out to anything other than this. And they even give you an extra size. They give you a small, a medium, a large, and then an extra small. So if you've got tiny little ear holes, you should be able to find a size that fits you. But what makes these so good to me is that they are not necessarily comfoam, or I keep saying that word, comfoam. It's not comfoam, it's foam comply. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that, it's it's like a hybrid of a, like a, man, it's a very, very malleable tip. It's just like you're almost a silicone hybrid foam comply. I don't know what this is, but it's way more comfortable than the original ones that were used in the XM4 earbuds. And that means I can actually use them for a long time without experiencing wearing fatigue. So this is the left earbud. And that brings me to the next thing that they've improved on, which was single bud use on any ear, whether it's the left or the right, this is the left one. I can just shove it in my ear hole and not have to give up any features such as Google Assistant. It's still active in here, man. So Sony has been, man, they've been working on it, man. They, they listen. I, I just would like to think that they listen to me on this. I get to use these on the left or the right, depending on which ear I feel like listening with. And it's, I'm going to have all my features. I absolutely love that. But this now brings me to some things that mm, I'm still not okay with, man. I'm still wishing I would have gotten this. They're still lacking in the department of customization of controls. Now they do give you volume controls now. So you can actually like quadruple tap, <laughs> you know, on each earbud to uh, raise the volume up or down. But I don't know if it, I would really want to implement it that way. These have touch controls and I, I think they could do a better job of letting you customize the controls. They only give you like presets and it might not be to what you actually want so a little bit more customization there would be fantastic they also have a new glossy finish around the body of the earbuds the xm4s pretty much had a matte finish which also allowed for a little bit of grip so these being so shiny you know they can get oily sometimes which makes them a little bit slippery so when you're taking them out of the case or putting them in your ears they can be a little bit slippery so i wish they would have stayed with the matte finish that would have been really nice and in regards to these touch controls they also give you quick access functions which i, I like the quick access functions it's just that they are limited to an app called indel and spotify i don't use either one of these apps i wish i could actually customize it to something i actually use like a fitness app or you know maybe youtube music or, or something like that that would be really nice to be able to have that level of customization and last but not least my sexy Sony lady voice is gone. Well, she's not completely gone. You'll find her here and there, but you know, she's not like ready and willing. You know what I'm saying? She used to be like in the earbuds. As soon as you turn them on, you get the battery life and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just tones and stuff like that. They've pretty much matched this up with what they've done with the XM5 headphones, which is fine, I guess. I just like the voice. It sounds so premium and kind of sexy. Power. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyways, man, I just wanted to show you all these earbuds and, and show them to you in a way that, you know, would help you actually use them by deep diving into the app a little bit and helping you customize them so you can get the best usage out of them because I absolutely love them. Yep, daily drivers here. I really do appreciate Sony sending these out, but just because they sent them to me, that don't change my opinion, man. These are going in my pocket, my backpack, my car, my trips, everything, everything or everywhere I go. These are my new daily drivers. And that's saying a lot because I get a lot of earbuds on the channel and I'm always going back and forth, but I always have to go back to something I really, really like. And this is what's up. The new Sony WF-1000XM5s. That's what's up, baby. Look, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.